For as many as received Him, obeyed Him, accepted Him, and walked with Him, to them gave He power to become sons of God. If the Father will not give you power to become a son of God, you won't be able to become a son of God, even if you want to become a son of God by your own. 48 years ago, an event took place that changed the course of one man's life. Little did he know that on that fateful night, he was chosen to fulfill what the Almighty Father has planned from the very beginning. I can still remember that supernatural event that night of March 20, 1974 in Tamayong when I was on a Wednesday service in the chapel and that is when this anointing took place. I was standing and I was delivering a message that night when all of a sudden the transition from the literal to that other dimension was seen and has taken place. So in just seconds in that vision I saw, it's a naked eye vision actually. I saw a heavenly visitor come on the left side of uh, the building. So I saw this and there was a flask that was uh, poured out on my head. And I really literally felt the oil coming down from my head to my body. And all the while I thought that after that, the congregation was aware or was seeing what I was seeing. But they did not. It was only me. Isa talaga sa sinasabi ng ating ama sa pamagitan kay Pastor. Adunay prophecy nga gihimo si Pastor dito nga nag-ingon. Muabot ang panahon nga pag-auyugon ko kininggingan lagtamayong. Aron makaila sila nga ikaw ang akong pinadala. Ikaw ang akong pinalanggang anak na gipadala nining ulahing mga adlaw. Palagi na kami nagsisimba dyan sa simbahan. O isang gabi, kung kami nagsisado, di bumikaayo ba? Revival. Yeah. Kalit-kalit, may nihumot, no? Masa ko nihumot? Nagyikan niya ikang pastor, Spike Nerd. Salamat, pastor, sa imong kinabuhi nga, imong gipadayag, kanamo. O salamat, pastor, tungod kay nining panahon na karon Amo na gayon nga nakita nga Ang tanan di ay ni mong mga ginasultis o ng panahon. Maunag yun kini ang amo dahil nga nakita ka ron. Nga muabot kini mga tao gikan sa nagkalailaya nga dapit. Manhi sa Pilipinas aron makikita sa anak sa Diyos. Nga karon pastor, natuma na gayon nga usa ako kasaksi nga amo na yun nakita ang imong mga gipamulong sa ng panahon. Ang tanan di panultis at tumihig mo magbalante, nagakatuman yun yun yung ulahing mga adlaw. Pasalamatan akong amahan. Nga hantod ka ron, nagapabilin ko siyang buluhaton nga diin. Gikan sa wala, nga to sa kauswagan, o nga to sa tibok kalibutan, akong ipasalamatan ng amahan nga na ako nining pag-alagara. Kung talang ipagsulti di pa sa stamayong sa una, nahitabo na giyon, praise the Father. So, nagpasalamat din ko sa amahan mga eksol nga pinaagi sa mga persecution nga giyagian ni Pastor nga diligid basta-basta nga kung na unaon mga eksol, pwede ko siya mo atras kay daghan giyon nga mga misyonary nga gapaabot ko siya, nga muhawa siya. Pero, nanatili gid si Pastor sa iyang commitment, sa iyang loyalty, mga eksol nga ligon giyon, nga tindo gid siya sa pagtawag sa amahan sa iya, praise the Father. So, it's an anointing that's coming from heaven. Uh, the Father set me aside, called me, and chose me for this task of uh, being an appointed son so that uh, I can deliver His words and His message for the salvation of humanity without fear or favor. It's not my orchestration, it's the orchestration of the Almighty Father. It is all His own plan. And I am just a part of that. I am just a big part of that because my role now is, I believe, is the most important role in humanity. It is to be the point of the Father's salvation. Look at the crime, the wars, the hardships, the curse that has fallen upon the earth. And the Father's will is not being done. Although they use His name, they use His words. Never was His will being obeyed here on this earth. So he took one from amongst us. And I am so fortunate that I was the one chosen by the Almighty Father to do that. To do 
Gulata. I was given the chance. I was given the opportunity. And I thank the Father that I succeeded. The Almighty Father did not only establish His home, His temple, the house of His glory, but He has also called His people and has created His kingdom here on earth. Kahit ito'y labag sa kalooban ko, kahit ikapahamak ko pa, Susungin ko yun, hindi ko babaguhin ang kanyang salita. Even to the detriment of my life, I will lay down my life for this words. Lahat ng usapin sa radio, o saan man, sa TV, radio, matatapos. Pero ikaw lang ang mananatiling nagsasalita. It may seem like yesterday, but the establishment of the Almighty Father's Kingdom Nation did not happen overnight. It started very small and has grown and propagated all over the globe and will never be shaken and will be forever victorious for it is founded by loyalty, faithfulness, and unconditional love of all sons and daughters led by the appointed Son of God, Pastor Apollo Sikibuloy. This is the purpose why He has called. The Almighty Father has prepared Him for His mission to succeed 48 years ago. This is the power of the Almighty Father's anointing. Yan ang mission ko. Nasa sa loob ko na kayo. Nakatira na ang Ama sa inyo. Ang Espiritu ng Anak nasa sa loob na ninyo. Nakatira na siya sa inyo. Yan. That is my mission. And when this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to all the world, then the end shall come.